Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For every complex number a, 0 plus a is equal to a. Now in this series, we are looking at a list of axioms for the complex numbers. These axioms come from Metamath, and I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. So let's remind ourselves what we're working with. We have a set C called the set of complex numbers. We have a subset of the complex numbers R called the set of real numbers. We're given three elements of the complex numbers, 0, 1, and i. We're given two binary operations on the complex numbers, addition and multiplication. So, given any two complex numbers, a and b, a plus b is a complex number, and a times b is a complex number. And also, we have a relation on the set of real numbers called the less than relation. So given any two real numbers, a and b, it might be the case that a is less than b. And we would write that like this. Otherwise, we have that a is not less than b. And from here, we have a list of axioms for the complex numbers. Now let's remind ourselves of axiom 4, which is the associative law of addition. And to prove this theorem, we are going to be using the following results that we have proven from the axioms. We have proven for every complex number a, a plus 0 is equal to a, right? So that looks really similar to the statement we're trying to prove. So we're going to be using this result to prove this result. We've also proven for every complex number a, there exists a complex number x such that a plus x is equal to 0. We've also proven that 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start on the proof, let's give ourselves an arbitrary complex number a. From here, we're going to show that 0 plus a is equal to a. And so the way we proceed is as follows. Applying this third result, since a is a complex number, there must exist a complex number x, such that a plus x is equal to 0. I'll call this result star. But now we're going to apply star again. Since x is a complex number, there must exist a complex number I'll call y, such that x plus y is equal to 0. And now, turns out, we can establish a long chain of equalities showing that 0 plus a is equal to a. The observation is as follows. First of all, we know for every complex number a, a plus 0 is equal to a. So we can write a as a plus 0. But then we're going to replace this 0 with x plus y. So then if we apply the associative law of addition, we can move these parentheses around a plus x. So we get this, but we know that a plus x is also equal to 0. So we'll replace that with 0, so we get 0 plus y. Okay, so then what can we do from here? Well, the trick is, we replace 0 with 0 plus 0. And then if we replace this second 0 with a plus x, that should help us out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the associative law once again, move these parentheses around 0 plus a. And then applying the associative law again, we move the large parentheses around x plus y. We know that x plus y is equal to 0. So this is just 0 plus a plus 0. But then we can apply our second result because remember, for every complex number a, a plus 0 is equal to a. So in particular, if we do the complex number 0 plus a plus 0, that will give us 0 plus a. So this long chain of equalities shows that 0 plus a is equal to a. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.